This is the MIT Mathematical Imagery Trainer. What we're trying to do here is train new kinds of imagery, particularly for the concept of proportionality. And our volunteer is holding two infrared beams, and each one is controlling a crosshairs on the computer display. The activity here is make the screen green. We've set it up so that as long as the right hand and the left hand, their heights, are in accord with the ratio that we've set up on the console, currently we have it set at one per two, the screen will be green. Children, by default, they start just moving their hand like, what the heck is this thing? But at some point, they'll make their screen green. And say, OK, great. Let's see if we can find another green. Now, these kids know that there's some uh, logic in the madness. It's not just a chaotic system. So they say, well, I don't know. I found a green. I'm trying to find another green. What can I do to keep it green? What about my action here, my, my posture, my position, can I do? So even though I'm going to move my hands now, something will remain constant. Something will be invariant. And by and large, all the children, grade four, five, and six, what they choose to keep the same is the distance between the hands. So they kind of say rigid. It's this rigidity, as if there's this invisible object here. And they kind of lift their hands. But of course, when they're lifting their hands, the heights now that were double are shifting in a way that is no longer double. And at some point, they'll notice the higher I go, the bigger the distance. So they have this qualitative assertion, which uh, is a relation between the hand's overall elevation and the interval between them. We think this is the precursor of mathematical reasoning. We think this is sort of proto-ratio, if you want, proto-proportion.